Hi there, it's Fix It Friday as our theme today, and I wanna show you how to fix your start menu in Windows 10 so that you have everything you need at uh, one quick click away. So I'm gonna go uh, to the bottom here to my Windows start menu. And what I'm talking about really is these tiles here. And so you might have a few tiles here, maybe you have lots, maybe they have some order for you, maybe they don't. Uh, let's talk about how to get more of them in there, how to put them in order, and how to make them so that they really are useful to you and fast. Uh, so, so first off, let's go with um, the idea of, well, how do I get a tile right on here if I don't have it? Maybe there's a program that you use a lot and it's not showing up in here. So you're first gonna need to find that program in your list so if I did a search, you can certainly scroll down as I'm doing here now, or I can use a, that little magnifying glass and just type in a program name. So I'm gonna say Evernote. I saw it there, but I'm just gonna use that. And then what I wanna do is once I'm on that program that I want, I'm gonna say pin it to my start. So pin it to my start menu. So that puts it as a tile. So let's do that. And now I'm gonna go out of here and just go back to my tiles. And so there's that little, elephant for Evernote and so you see it's been pinned there okay um, so not, so that's one way to, that's one way to get them on there now the other thing I want to show you is how to move things around if you don't like the arrangement so I have mine arranged a bit based on what these programs do so let's say I didn't want team viewer over here I wanted to move it over I'm just dragging and dropping now I can that little that line the horizontal lines meaning I can start a new group for that with that little program or I can just put it kind of close to an existing group right so I'm gonna put it let me just try and put it with this existing group here so let's try that again so if I drag it down far enough away from those it makes a new group right but if I drag it kind of on top of it or right beside it it puts it within that group and then you can certainly move things around as you want to just kind of keep them close together if you want them grouped together otherwise it can if you want to make a new group for some reason there's nothing wrong with that either it just means that this list is going to get a little bit long for you so i'm going to put that back to where i had it i like it there and then i have little headings above my groups as well so uh, that's just a matter of clicking in that area at the top so this is the heading that i have for recording and remote control i'm going to get rid of that and uh, type something else so let's just say record and so on, in this group here there is no heading so if i just hover above it it says name the group so i can type it type in whatever heading it, it helps me classify what those tiles are for what those programs are for or i can leave it blank if in this case they're kind of a few different things that's happening on those tiles those are the extra tiles so i don't really even want a heading for them now let's say I wanted to get rid of one of these tiles because I don't really want it as part of my main menu here. I can just click on it and then I can choose to unpin it from that start menu as opposed to uninstall. Uninstall means you're un uninstalling it from your, your computer, right? So unpin it and now it's no longer on my start menu. And then you have this here. So if you have the Microsoft suite of programs, you probably have a tile that has all the programs in it. I don't like that personally because I use those programs all the time and I can actually, if you're looking at my screen, you're going to see, I do have shortcuts on my taskbar as well, which is different than this. So this is pinned to my start menu. This is pinned to the taskbar. So if I go to, uh, let's just go to one of those files. So let's say Excel here, I can say it's pinned to the start menu. Uh, it's already pinned to the taskbar, so that's why it's not giving me that option there, but that's what this is showing here. So um, I want these ones separated. Let's go back to that. That's what I was talking about. The, this one, these ones are grouped right now. So if I click on the group, it kind of opens it up and lets me, uh, lets me access each of them, but I don't want to have to click on it and then click again. I want them separate right from the get-go. So what I can do is just drag those out of there. I'm going to just drag it to a new group. So I'm just making a new group for those tiles. And then I'll put them back where I want them. So let's say PowerPoint, Excel, Teams. I guess that was already separate, wasn't it? Okay, uh, OneNote. So see how I'm building that? 
and then just keep them together somehow, <laughs> not like me. Okay, and the last one is word. Word. Okay. Only thing is though, of course, I, I don't want them way over here. I do use those programs a lot every single day, so I want to access them quickly. So I'm gonna move things around a bit more. So just bear with me here. I'm gonna put uh, Teams up here, and then we'll put Word. Okay, and then I'll put Excel. So now this is gonna kind of throw off the balance of how this looks. Uh -huh. I like things balanced. And then PowerPoint. So now I have an issue. <laughs> PowerPoint's not gonna neatly fit in my little grid. I know it's 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 a little issue these days, but it is an issue for me. So I'm gonna go move this. Uh, actually, move the store, Microsoft Store. I'll move it over here, and I'll move PowerPoint into the middle. Okay, and of course you can arrange it however you want, but that hopefully gives you an idea. That uh, makes it a little bit quicker for you to maybe see the programs that you want to access and have uh, a way of organizing them in some, some way so it's faster for you. So give that a try. You're just a click away from saving more hours in your day. Thanks. Bye-bye.